everyone, welcome to Feasting on God's Word for this week. This is November the... Golly, what day of November is it? Hard to believe that we're this deep in November already. November the 16th, 2022. We link ourselves into an ancient rhythm and discipline when we partake in feasting on God's Word. Its ancient practice was known as the Lexio Divina, a way of just immersing ourselves in God's Word by taking a small passage of Scripture and intentionally reading that small passage multiple times with only silence, just to give time for our own contemplation and reflection on that scripture. The way that we update this discipline for our time is we have four different translations of the same passage. We still read it multiple times. It's still a short passage. We still use silence between it. So a minute after the first reading, a minute after the second, three minutes after the third, and then conclude the discipline with the fourth and final reading. That longer period of silence is intended as an opportunity for us to turn to God in prayer, and I often find it helpful to have something to write with and something to write on nearby so I can write down my impressions of the scripture as it is read through those first three times so then I can take those impressions and lift them to God in my prayer, whether those be how it is inspiring me or challenging me or confusing me or whatever it could be. So you might also find that helpful for yourself. So without further ado, let's jump into feasting on God's word for this week. Our passage taken from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21, beginning with the New Revised Standard Version. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Pursue hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be arrogant, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Our second reading of Romans, chapter 12, verses 9 through 21, from the Message Translation. Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life to good. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Don't burn out. Keep yourselves fueled in a flame. Be alert servants of the master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy Christians. Be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies. No cursing under your breath. Laugh with your happy friends when they're happy. Share tears when they're down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. 
don't hit back, discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Our scriptures tell us that if you see your enemy hungry, go buy that person lunch. Or if he's thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. Our third reading of Romans chapter 12 verses 9 through 21 from the contemporary English version with our longer period of silence to follow. Be sincere in your love for others. Hate everything that is evil and hold tight to everything that is good. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Never give up. Eagerly follow the Holy Spirit and serve the Lord. Let your hope make you glad. Be patient in time of trouble and never stop praying. Take care of God's needy people and welcome strangers into your home. Ask God to bless everyone who mistreats you. Ask him to bless them and not curse them. When others are happy, be happy with them. And when they are sad, be sad. Be friendly with everyone. Don't be proud and feel that you know more than others. Make friends with ordinary people. Don't mistreat someone who has mistreated you, but try to earn the respect of others and do your best to live at peace with everyone. Dear friends, don't try to get even. Let God take revenge. In the scriptures, the Lord says, I am the one to take revenge and pay them back. The scriptures also say, if your enemies are hungry, give them something to eat. And if they are thirsty, give them something to drink. This will be the same as piling burning coals on their heads. Don't let evil defeat you, but defeat evil with good.
our fourth and final reading, reading of Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21 from the New International Version. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.